Hello, my name is Rich Morantz of Green Mountain Tai Chi. In this video, I'll be providing instruction in standing meditation, also known as Chan Chuang. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about the intent of six-way energy. Over the past 30 years, many teachers have taught me different meditations, sitting, lying, walking, standing meditation. Um, this is my preference, is standing meditation. Um, and then out of that, my preference is this six-way medita six meditation, six-way energy. And the reason is because it's, where it's not because it's the easiest, but it's because I get the most benefit from it. So the idea of what six-way energy is, it's left and right, up and down, forward and back. So six different ways that energy can go. Okay, but first let's talk a, a minute about, a little bit about structure. I'm not going to go too in-depth about it, but the idea of structure in standing meditation. One of the things that's very important is that the feet are parallel. Okay, if you're unable to really keep the feet parallel for structural reasons, really just do your best to get them as parallel as possible. And maybe just a little wider than the hip. Now, as we settle into our meditation and relax into meditation, one of the common things that occurs is that the knees turn inward like this. Not for everybody, but it's common. And you want to try and avoid that. So as you settle into your meditation and drop into the meditation as you let go, you want to kind of rotate the legs a little bit so that the knees kind of turn outward. But you don't want to use a lot of force. Just kind of allow it to happen and, and try and avoid this from occurring. So a little bit of a rotation. Another common thing is when the arms are up like this, that the shoulders come up. So you want to be very mindful to really let your shoulders be relaxed and down. And one other common thing is rolling the chest forward, kind of sinking forward like this. So we want to kind of bring the shoulder blades together a little bit so that the shoulders are even with the hips, parallel with the hips, as opposed to forward of the hips. So there's just a couple of things to pay attention to as you're doing your meditation. So I always begin my meditation by taking three kind of scanning breaths. So I inhale up, exhale down, and I'm scanning through my body, looking for any tension and releasing any excess tension from the body. So again, we inhale up, and exhale down. And I take a third breath, inhale up, and exhale down. Now my preference on bringing the arms up is to circle them around and as if I'm gathering into myself, as if I'm gathering into myself, pulling inward. Now another way that you can bring the arms up, which is common, is just bringing them up in this position here. I find this doesn't work well for me because I do have a tendency to roll forward with my meditation. So I find that circling the arms up and drawing inward helps me to maintain good structural integrity. Now if you notice, my arms, my hands are about face height. This is, again, where I prefer my arms to be. However, you can also have your arms here, your hands here, or down here in front of the three dantian. My preference is here, but if this is not comfortable for you, particularly as a beginner, it's okay to start lower. So I circle the arms, gathering in, coming to a comfortable place where my shoulders can be relaxed. I'm upright. I'm dropping into my tailbone, dropping into my legs. My knees are relaxed and soft. My gaze is just very soft. The tip of the tongue lightly touching the roof of the mouth. So this is the structural position to be in. Now comes the mind intent. As I inhale, I'm going to gather into my center, what's known as the Dantian, the energy center of the body. And I'm going to draw in from up and down. And then as I exhale, I'm going to send out up and down. So from the center of my body going up, the center of my body going down. 
and I'll do three, you generally would do three breaths like that. And then I would inhale into the center again from left and right, and then exhale left and right. So as if I have a, a plane running through my body and the right side of my body is going to the right, left side of my body is going to the left. And then I do front and back. So three breaths of gathering in, forward and back again, like there's a plane running through the body, the front of the body going forward, the back of the body going back. And I would do three breaths of each like this, rotating through. It's not important the order that you do this in, just find an order that works for you. So you inhale, up and down, exhale, up and down. It's about 95% mind, about 5% body. Inhale, up and down, exhale, up and down. And then we would inhale from left and right, exhale, left and right. Inhale, left and right, exhale, left and right. Then inhale from front and back, exhale, front and back. And again, inhale, front and back, exhale, front and back. And just keep rotating through this process. However many breaths of each, you can do one breath of each, three breaths of each. It's really up to you with your own practice. And then after a while, what starts to occur, and you want this to develop naturally, is that all three or all six ways occur it simultaneously. This is not something you want to try to make happen. You want to let it develop naturally. So you have to be very patient with your practice of rotating through just left, right, up, down, front, back, one at a time. And after a while, it'll be like a ball of energy coming from all six ways. So you're gathering into the center from all six ways, left, right, up, down, front, back, and then sending out left, right, up, down, front, back, as if a ball were around you. And what ends up developing is a sense that there is a ball all around you that is um, coming in and sending out, right? Coming in and sending out, condensing and becoming diffuse. Now also what occurs is there is a ball within here, there's a ball out here, above and below as well. Same thing between the legs, pushing out here, pushing in here, front and back. So there's all this sense of this contradictory kind of energy happening. So as I'm inhaling and exhaling, I feel a ball, like I'm holding a ball here that's pushing outward. And then there's also a ball out here that I'm pushing out against that's pushing inward at all times. And it gives us very, this very dynamic sense of being. So we just inhale and exhale, gathering in, sending out, right? It's a very simple exercise, just very simple. But as I said, you want to just rotate through one at a time until that sense of all six ways occurs naturally. Do not force that issue. And you'll find yourself just kind of settling into the posture, letting go a little at a time. And when you're done, you just let the hands gently come down to your center, bring your mind into your center. And then generally I take one more breath, inhale and exhale back into my center, bringing all the energy back into my center. Now, one of the things I like to say about standing meditation is do one thing, learn 10,000. This is not a complicated exercise. Don't make it more complex than it needs to be. However, the benefit is you will learn so much. Your health will improve. Your mental health will improve. Your emotional and energetic health will improve. This has been the experience that I've had and I've been practicing standing meditation for decades. So I really encourage you to practice this. Now, one more thing I'd like to say about it is when you stand like this, it can get really 
really uncomfortable. Wherever there are blockages, whether it's in the back or the shoulder or the bottom of the feet even, it can get very, very uncomfortable. Just allow yourself to work through it. Be patient. It will go away if you're patient enough. This exercise can be uncomfortable, but it will never harm you. You will never do yourself harm by standing meditation. Allow the energy to flow. It just takes time. We have to be patient day in, day out. This is not a fancy exercise, but I find it to be the most useful exercise um, in my repertoire of practices. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to contact me. And I wish you happy practice and may you walk in peace.